Long-haul COVID continues causing some medical problems for thousands of Utahns. New research suggests a blood test could one day help determine a person's risk for this perplexing condition. Well, today there is no standard diagnosis or treatment for COVID long haulers. New specialist Jed Bull live for us tonight with this story. Jed? Yeah, Mike, right now there's no way to determine if a person is at risk for long COVID before they catch the virus. But if a blood test could determine that risk, then researchers might also be able to develop treatments. Most days now, um, I feel 90 to 95% better. Lisa O'Brien is one of Utah's first long haulers, experiencing strange symptoms since March 2020. Once or twice a week, I'll wake up and feel like this really weird surge or like internal vibrations in my chest area. Um, my lips will kind of vibrate or tingle when I eat certain foods. She occasionally still feels fatigued, but she is no longer losing clumps of hair or experiencing drastic fluctuations in her heart rate. However, I am one of the lucky ones because I have a lot of friends who are two years into this now. Um, and they have not improved as much as I have. She met those friends on the Utah Long Haulers Facebook group, which she started in June 2020. 4,000 members now. You know, I've got some friends that have been out of work for two years. Um, and it's just, it's changed their lives because the symptoms are so debilitating. New research finds that people who develop long COVID have lower levels of certain antibodies in their blood shortly after infection. This was a pretty well done study. Um, they looked at about like 200, like 175 patients with COVID and followed them over a year. Researchers watched their symptoms, developed a scoring system, and tried to predict from their immune responses who would develop post-COVID symptoms. They felt like it was about 75% effective at predicting who is gonna have persistent symptoms. If they can validate these findings with more patients, that could help with treatments. You can target potentially therapies earlier or identify those patients for research long-term. Um, so I think that's how this could potentially help if it was validated. And potentially enable scientists to develop a blood test. I think if, you know, they can uncover the why, like why are pe some people ending up like this, then that can lead us to like the how, how do we treat this? Dr. Brown tells me it's estimated that about 30% of those who catch COVID have persistent COVID symptoms over some period of time. Guys? All right, Jed Bull live for us tonight. Interesting. Jed, thank you.